2023, A Time Traveler's Story by Catherine Mondragon Narrated by Richard Crossman As I stepped out of what seemed like a tunnel of light, I found myself in an alleyway. Neon lights illuminated the street, casting long shadows across the pavement. I walked down the dark alleyway, the sound of my footsteps echoing off the brick walls, and turned onto a busy street. Everything was strange. The city was different, like I had stepped into Batman's Gotham City. I looked around, stunned by the strange, unfamiliar world around me. I was lost and unsure of what to do next. As I wandered aimlessly through the streets, I realized I needed to find out more about this world. I stumbled into a bar that was playing familiar jazz music, but customs had changed. Women didn't take kindly to being called dame anymore, and and I couldn't even light up a smoke. As I sat down, two young cats were talking about something called Sheetcast, an Excel-based app maker they had just launched. I listened intently as they explained the app's creative capabilities. I found myself thinking, sounds like magic. If I had this kind of technology, I could manage my detective agency with ease. I could use Excel and create apps with Sheetcast to track clients, manage finances, and and even monitor the city's villains. Imagine having all the data you need immediately at your fingertips. But alas, I soon found out looking at my receipt that it was the year 2023? How? The two men continued talking about this newfound technology that might as well have been from an alien world as far as I was concerned. 2023. The number kept echoing in my head. But funnily enough, it wasn't even my biggest concern how I got there. Now, all I would think about was... This world and its technology wouldn't be available to me until long after I'm gone. So, with a heavy heart, I picked up my fedora and shuffled out of the bar. This technology was a game-changer, that was for sure, but just not for me. I saw a group of people gathered at a bus stop and decided to approach them. I walked over to a young woman and asked her if she knew where I could find a newspaper. She looked up at me with a puzzled expression and held up a rectangular device that emitted light. She told me I could find the latest news using it and asked what I wanted to know. 2023. I asked her if there was a lot of crime in this city because I was a detective from another, another place looking to start over. I was amazed to find out that crime still existed in this day and age and what seemed like an electric eye in every street and a recorder in the hands of every citizen. I decided then and there to stay in the future and start my own detective agency. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but with the help of technology like Sheetcast, computers, and that rectangular phone thing, I was determined to make it work. I spent the next few months learning everything I could about this new world, I tracked down the cats from Sheetcast to create the apps I needed, and with the help of some locals, I got my detective agency up and running. I was able to use my skills to clean up the town and bring criminals to justice. Like Batman, I found the high-tech tools that would give me superpowers to fight crime.